little bit and try to remember where everything is on the map. Then people take pictures. Pictures? I didn't take any. <laughs> Pictures? No, I was an idea for a character. I want to know if that's in any way possible. You could do it. The axes would do no more extra damage. No, not extra damage. Um, you would probably want to spec a fighter as a two-weapon fighter. Yeah, a two-weapon fighter. And, yeah. Or, uh... You look at our, our game last week, it just looks like there's a pile of trash on a mat. You know, it's like there's candy and a bowl and some taffy and a couple of squished up carrots. It's, like, it's called shared imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to start over with a mat. A shared mental experience yeah, together. You pulled the guy off the I love ledge it. And dragged him up a wall. I love this shit. Like, like I love to read those crazy ass yeah, books. Can nobody can, you can't read a book with somebody, you know? Yeah, yeah that's true. But this is oh, yeah. <laughs> creating a story as I don't know what. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even so yeah. He wasn't even supposed to be able to transform to a freaking dragon. Most likely me. Well, he did it despite your protests. No, 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 me and his mouth. And yes, I did protest. I was, I was there. I remember. What were you protesting? The, the dragon polymorph? Oh, <laughs> yes. That didn't go well, man. Would you like a burglar? Oh, that was insane. Lieutenant Aldo Rain. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. You ever seen the burglar master? The burglar master might want a preacher. You preacher the movie? No, no, no. No, preacher, like the show. No. And yeah, I didn't, so I got it too, man. Oh, yeah. So hopefully we got it. <laughs> okay, you didn't stay too much. That's good enough. It's got a kind of creepy, uh, you know, Barovian tint to it. They probably, like, talk about it in their backs. They should, like, go there and stab them in their backs. <laughs> Steel hurts more than words. Uh, <laughs> Unless you're a bard, and no, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love bards. So Brienne just got in a fight with the dude wearing the hound. But one of them has a weird back. Yeah, yeah read books. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of them. Yeah, they changed a lot. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Like, I thought it was just kind Does of. Does he like, want more Jeremy? I guess. What's the anime about the hero academy? Right here, like Boku no Hero Academy. It's kind of like Naruto, but I... Okay, what's the first first word of it? Yeah. Boku. Boku. B-O-K-U. Oh, Boku. Boku, no, and then the next one. Okay, so the hut Thank you. is on the ground. <laughs> The front of the hut. You cast on the front of the hut, right? Right in the middle of the hut. <laughs> okay, there's tentacles in the hut. She cast darkness on the hut. She did? Yeah. She's in the hut. I love those Chinese. There's a wall of fire that's just basically burning ghouls that are crawling out of the courtyard or out of the graveyard. That's not really doing anything. There's a dragon. It's holding back the time. Is what, it's what is it? Yeah, I just pulled it out of the trash. I was looking for. I was looking for minis. Oh, that's right. There was a dragon. Yeah, that was one of the players. We may or may not be able to use. Have you been logging every day? Nice. Not, not like details. Just like five. So this is session twenty-one. All right. Minnie's out. She's in the hut. Oh. I have damage on her. And damage on. You want to use this one? Alright, well, it's Yes, thank you. Um, last week, after you guys killed the great rock, really could pass, forced the head uh, with a big lizard. Okay, did we, did someone grab the Dusk Elf out of his cage? So the Dusk Elf is laying on the ground beneath, the, the hut has landed. Gerbo saved the Dusk Elf. So the, so the Dusk Elf, but Gerbo crashed and did, failed on the dismount, didn't he? Yeah. So Gerbo's in the dirt with a Dusk Elf on top of him. The Dusk Elf seems, you know, half starved to death, very miserable. So long as he doesn't start eating me. No, Dusk Elves are not cannibalistic. They are, they are, uh... I don't know. Yeah, you've never seen one before. They're the stuff of imagination and myth. 
you guys beat him? But there's definitely one on you who is desperate. Uh, the half orc paladin, not very effective. I tried, tried to run down the, the hill giant skull flying craft, which was then destroyed by the dragon. Got some shots in. You you see this um, giant walking hut settle to the ground as tentacles come squirming out of it with strange slurping noises. Yeah, didn't it try to hit me? It tried to hit you twice, but it's currently slowed. So it's not very effective on its attacks. Good. Those attacks hit, though, they're going to be devastating. I mean, it's generally shooting huge roots straight at your head. It would be like being hit by a battering ram. Stand back. Yeah. All right. Where do you guys want to be? Uh, back. I want to be out of range of those tentacles, but within my, uh, I think, 120 feet from my Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to continue in initiative order that we had last time. Okay, so Skid. So Taylor is not here. Yeah. Baba Lasaga goes. She saves against being inside the tentacles. Yep. Okay, can we? Before we start, let's kind of spread out. Uh, so we don't get blasted by an AOE. Mm -hmm. we'll get blasted. So she has saved. Okay. Does she still take damage? Uh, no. Okay. So she saves against that at the start of her spell. And then you see, uh, in addition to the darkness and the tentacles, there is now... Uh, <laughs> let me describe this. So if she stays in there, she saves again. She yeah, saves the beginning of each turn or end of each beginning of each turn. Right. So she saved this time. Um, coming out of the hut, there is now a poisonous yellow green fog spreading out from the front of the hut, spilling out onto the earth. Anybody fire? We got some fire. It appears to be about about ten feet in front of the door. There's just putrid smoke pouring out of the hut. It's, uh, you can repulsive. smell you can smell the horror from here. It's repulsive. Okay. Uh, and then she is going to That like, it pours out like it spreads real fast. Yeah, like a spell was cast, like Cloud Kill, and it's billowing out poisonous cloud. About 15 feet from the door. Okay. In an in a arc. Got it. Okay. So three squares in front. Does, so does that mean that if we just breathe it in, we're going to take damage, or if we come in contact with it, we right. take so, damage? Uh, or do I have to roll for that? Or you're in this effect, aren't you? You're, you're within 15 feet of the front door. But I thought we just said we can move wherever we want. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're at the base of the door, so... Uh, yeah, we are in touch. If you start your turn in there, you're going to have to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, I can do that. The smell is overwhelmingly disgusting. Uh, that is the hut. You want that elf have to do it too? Yeah, oh, the dusk elf may very well die. Oh, man. He doesn't look like he's in any condition to take any cloud kill related damage. Oh, yeah. Uh, Anyone see the Tell initiative card? No. <laughs> Taylor hasn't worked yeah, yeah, What did I do? Josh hasn't gone back to me yet. Maybe you left him in the boat. <laughs> There's not much I could do. So that's Baba Lasaga. Kyle, you're up. The hut is still sentient, it's still moving. But it seems to be regrouping a little bit. It's still slowed. Do you have a spell scroll fireball or like a flask of fire? No, nope, we are not that clever. We go to towns. The scarecrows that are dead around you do look extremely flammable. Are they currently on fire? They are not currently. There is fire on the ground. No, no, there's lightning. He was doing lightning damage. <laughs> kind of dragon. He's a brass. I think he was doing lightning damage. I thought it was a white dragon. Was it frost damage? I don't know. Some sort of good dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver dragon, I think. Maybe. 
Okay, so they're in a room. Shut the door. I'm missing a piece. There's no more danger down. So, well, I don't know. So this was from before we I started here. Yeah, probably, but uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, there's a chase after them. They all, she, she also all right, I, I suppose I'll uh, we grab up yeah. so there's another uh, like, a, like a like a scarecrow leg or limb. Yes. And, there's a and thing run like over to the fire. Yeah, okay. Fire. All right. And I'd like to approach the hut yeah, and try to catch it. Not in the cloud of smoke. Not near your tentacles. Kind yeah, of on the other side. Oh, you're gonna throw it. You can throw a flaming scarecrow leg about 20 feet, I think. Okay. Let's just stand right outside that. <laughs> so outside the fog, throwing it in the hut or throwing it. Uh, yeah, as best I can. I mean, it's darkness, right? Yeah, yeah. So my memory. Of right. That door was. Well, you hear the crow. There's still a lot of um, ravens in cages. So you have good. Direction. In fact, I'm going to give you advantage on the throw because you're echo locating with the crows. All right, let's see it. Uh, what am I advantage? advantage? Nine. Oh, what am I? Is it strength? Yep. It's negative one, so eight. So you get an eight. You hurl a flaming scarecrow leg at the porch. It flies wide. It lands on the porch, still burning, but it's fallen into darkness. You can't see it, but it's felt like a pretty reasonable toss. Any more movement? Sure. All right, just kind of backing off. All right, so you're... Any kind of cover around? There's not a lot of cover. This was like a football field that they just, everybody was charging through. You're in the... the like the ruins of a town square kind of area. So you're about 40, 40 feet, eight squares. How much can I get away from? Yeah, about 40 feet, so eight squares. Uh, Kyle, that was your turn. Joel, you're up. Three hours. That's bad. Does not work. Uh, you KO me. <laughs> yeah. Make death saves. Again. All right, so for now, I'll so cast aid have, uh, on the dust gel. Fantastic. Um, uh, looking at, uh, two he looks pretty bad, right? right? Yeah, no, no, he looks on the verge of death. Just cast. Oh wait, no, no, no. cure wounds, cure wounds. I think okay. just drag this out. Also, I can do that too. Well, I can try to do both. No, because that's my uh, action, so right? Grabbing you guys. Want me to just try to do that? I think it's only like, an action if you if, if they're resisting. In other words, um, you you don't lose half your speed. One of the two. Uh, um, one of the first yeah, which one? Because I want to grab them and then try to heal them. So you're gonna run into the cloud, well, grab him, and drag like, him out. Aren't yes. I on the edge of the cloud? Yeah, you're just on the edge of the cloud. So he doesn't have to be in the same square. Correct. Yeah, so I'll do that. Would he also drag the cashmere? Cashmere, the dusk elf? Yeah, yeah. Since he's on top. You're in, able to grab cashmere and drag him safely clear of the cloud. Don't help me. Did you attempt to grab the the gnome halfway? Yeah, I'll try to grab both. All right, so give me a strength check. DC 15 to carry him both free of the cloud. You got mad strength. Yeah. Can I, uh, yeah, this he's a hero, man. This is what he was born to do. Oh, he storked it. Straight up storked it. Yeah, just an eight. Eight. So I'm still an stuck. Eight. So you're still stuck. You, he's dragged you some, but you're still on the edges of the cloud. It looks like you're going to take some damage unless you save. And can I still cast aid on the Yes, absolutely. You can cast aid on me. You haven't taken any damage, have you? That's what aid does? Yes, aid heals. I want to heal him. Or cure wounds. Gosh darn it, keep getting those two mixed up. Cure wounds. Aid's like a really strong one. Well, because he casts a similar one that gave everyone 8 HP. Aid is similar to that. Except it's only 5. So 1d8. Plus my... Four. Okay. As you cast this, you notice two things. One, a ring on Kashmir's finger that you hadn't seen before glows. 
subtle glow coming from a yeah, ring on his finger, that's, that's as problem. well as all people wearing Dusk Elf cloaks have advantage on their next turn. The cloak seems to hum alive with power as you aid Kashmir, as if he's kind of the king of the Dusk Elves, and by aiding him, you aid the tribe. King of the Dusk Elves. Yeah, so Kashmir... Well done, man. Yeah. Yeah. Keep healing him. Nice job, Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Uh, Joel, you've cast heal. You've dragged the people from the dust. Melissa's not here tonight. She is out. Josh is not here tonight or may show up later. Scarecrows are all dead. Gerbo, you're up. So, <laughs> save versus close. It's just a guy. Oh, it's just a guy. <laughs> and I have advantage. Yeah, if you'd like to, you get advantage on one of your rolls this turn. So if you want to take it here, that's okay. Do I have to declare it before? You do need to declare it ahead of time. And the DC, I'll tell you what the DC on this, this is. This looks as if it's, um, what I'm calling Oubliette, which is... DC is 17. Uh, 17? That's basically where they would put people to... Away from killing them. Um, you just put them in this sort of, like, little body side. Can I make a quick check to see if I don't make this roll? So, uh, and there's how much damage I can approximately... 20-ish? Okay, You've seen Cloud Kill before. <laughs> okay, I, I'll just roll. So... Yeah, I totally failed. <laughs> okay, no more back spins. 23 points of damage. Okay, I lose 10 my temporary and I lose 13 uh, regular. So 13. Uh, also, the, t the, the fog is moving. Whatsoever. Out. Um, okay, so I guess I have to use half my movement speed to stand up. Okay. And then I'll move 15 out. Okay. And then I'll bonus action move uh, another 30. So you're now 45 feet away from the the cloud. Somewhere like maybe around there. Okay. Margo is not here. May join later. End of round one tonight. Round two. Uh, you're just clank. Uh, your crowbar broke. Oh, no. How's your crowbar break? Yeah, he broke him on the next one. Because it's a lady crowbar. I, I go every day. Taylor's not here. No, not anymore. She casts a uh, stiff breeze. Uh, yeah, okay. I have ten to me. She's a druid, right? She should have. Or she's a ranger. Does she have stiff breeze? She has, she's a druid. She was a ranger. She's got down classes down in druid. Well, no, she, I think she switched because Margo and them were the same. Gotcha, gotcha. So she went straight druid. Does she have swift breeze? Do we know? Uh, I, I made up stiff breeze. Yeah, pretty. She. I think they did it in the. Um, in the room with the fireballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the basement against the cultists. Okay. But I don't remember exactly. But anyway, that would be great. If she could. All right, all right. Yeah, no, for sure. So she starts using her druidic magic. She summons from that druidic circle you were at just recently, so her stiff breeze is even stiffer than normal. Oh, yeah. She's able to easily dispel the magic completely. Baba La Saga starts her turn and may have failed her save against your kick ass spell. It's, it's a what kind of spell? Uh, it's uh, let me. I, it's it's one if it's. Um, She's starting her turn in the center of it. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, what is my spell? Hunger of <laughs> Any creature that starts his turn it takes cold damage. Dexterity save. She got a ten, so she fails. Two d six cold. Eight. She takes eight. And where are you? Cold. Got it. No immunities to speak of. Anything else happen? Nope. Uh, yes. She is going to get Other milky, otherworldly tentacles rub against her. <laughs> Isn't she a small fly? So? Yeah. Extra. What are you guys doing? But she may have changed nice. back into human form. No, only this this particular holiday is there. She's yeah. casting yeah. spells. Right. She's no longer a swarm of flies. She's I'll casting go, spells. I'll go uh, uh, unless you uh, do, she yeah. has that ability. Mm -hmm. That's why you ran away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want I want to try the door that he chat. Okay. 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 I, 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 I see some shelves on both sides. This is a, 
smell here is really offensive. Uh, there is a corpse knobs inside. All right, that's it for her turn. Kyle, you're up. Did you hear that? All right, so I can see the cages of the Ravens. They're in the darkness. There's this fear of darkness on the front porch. You can't see them. You can hear them, but you can't see them. Can I can I cast dancing lights? Absolutely. No, no, no. I don't want. I don't want to cast dancing lights. What's the? Not even a decom. I don't have it. I wanted the, the other sparkling that gives advantage on shots. I can't remember what that was called. Okay, uh, fairy fire. That's the one I was looking for. I don't have it. Um, so there's no t real target to. The hut. Class. The hut is a target. It's a creature. It's attacking. But it's not in darkness. The front of the hut is in darkness, but it's a large hut, All right. like 30 uh, feet hut, and you've I, got about 20 feet of darkness. I want to kind of sweep around as best I can, Absolutely. staying out of danger. Like, yeah, I, I want to be, like, how, what, what did I you're see not the sure, range? Yeah, you're not sure. It was far. It was probably 10 squares. Okay, so I want to try and sweep around outside of that range and get around as, as far as I can in uh, just using regular movement. Okay. What do you reckon? Like here? Yep. Perfect. Okay, what can I see in, uh, on the back side? Uh, perception? Right, so um, on the back side you see tentacles coming out of a window, yep. um, and you see movement inside as she seems to be running around inside the hut okay. in panic still. Can I see she definitely, her? yeah, you can't see her for sure. So I can target her. You could target her with a spell. Eldritch Blast. So Eldritch Blast for sure. I have two Eldritch Blasts. Oh, double okay. blast, nice. Uh, no, that's probably not going to hit. Uh, plus, plus seven, so thirteen. Mm, at the hut, the hut doesn't have much of an armor class. Oh, oh, can I hit? Can I shoot her through the window? Oh, you're shooting her with Eldritch Blast. Yeah, you can shoot her through the window. With a thirteen, is a miss. Uh, that is twenty. That's a hit. Okay. And you see all right. You see me, a he takes seven points of Eldritch Blast, recoils as if, you know, astoundingly damaged. She looks very, very badly hurt. The hut, however, leans down and picks up a rock with one of its giant roots and hurls a rock at you. Uh, so do I, can I take advantage on, or what? Oh, I should have taken advantage on my shot. Your, el your first Eldritch Blast roll. Do you want to, do you want to take advantage? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. okay, that would hit. That's, that's another hit, so do another. So you hit her with two Eldritch Blasts. Yeah, so that's 12 to hit, or 12 damage. The more 12, more damage she takes it. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's bad off. Yeah. Alright, so it's throwing a rock at me. Rock toss is a 14 to hit. Uh, Alright, and you take 21 points of rock damage. What's your AC? How did I not know that earlier, man? That's, <laughs> we would have been targeting you a lot more than the Paladin. <laughs> Sitting in his like 19 armor class or whatever that is. Okay, so that's the hut's turn. The hut is still slowed, so it only took one action. Gerbo, you're up. Pick it up, it feels that. There's three outlets. <laughs> Can you get in that hut and put a blade in her throat? I have 90 total feet of movement I can do in one turn. That's a lot. Get in there. Oh, no, I have that. I could do move uh, 135 feet. But, that's yeah, like, but then I won't be able to attack. <laughs> Could I potentially. No, I moved at least 45 feet away, so I would have to dash to at least get inside. And because the front door is covered in darkness, I have no idea where the front door is. So I would have to essentially run around. What are you doing? I am uh, going to. Uh, one, two, three, four, release some crows or. 
Seven. Stab Bubble Saga. I thought we were all gonna die, so I tried pleading for your lives. And, uh, that uh, bonus action dash. One, two, three, yes. four, five, six, seven. Yes. Uh, seven. 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 Uh, seven
Well, it's about to take a bunch. Lightsaber time. Lightsaber's out. And I would like to use it as a second slot so I can get another. So I get the regular hit plus two, four. Uh, 11, 17, 23. 23 points of damage? Yes. Radiant. All radiant. All radiant. Hold on. And it's not a, it's not a fader undead, right? It is a construct. Darn it. It's melting. In case I lose the key in the fight, I want to be able to get up and open those keys. All right, no, finish. No, I have an extra attack. So okay, extra attack. No, 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 no. Swing around again with the sword. Another hit. Plus nine. So, so, uh, actually, I think the last attack was supposed to be plus six. So it was actually twenty nine. Twenty nine, yeah. not twenty three. Now it just took eleven. So so I'll add that six. So I take seventeen. Got it. No no no. no. The, it, it, I added it this time. So okay. eleven. It takes eleven this time. Five plus six. Okay, got it. Round. And now I'm done. Taylor goes. Round three. Fight. Keeps that. No, the the, the cloud kill is gone. Cloud kill is gone. Oh. Dark is dissipating. Babala Saga leans out the window and she says, Ah, sorcerer with Eldritch Bolt! She catches two birds. Here's my bolt! <laughs> and she casts magic missile at fifth level at you. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yes, three, four, five, six, seven magic missiles. Okay, so do you, you have shield. As I dive out the way, I drink my healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> do you have shield? Uh, I don't Oh, yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. Ten, 17, 18, 19, 25 points of magic missile damage. But it's an auto hit? Auto hit. Oh, yeah. And I'm unconscious. <laughs> oh. No shield, nothing? Don't worry, I'm... Yeah, she nails you and cackles. <laughs> what are you at? No zero. zero. Uh, zero. Exactly? No, no, no. Beyond zero. He's knocked out. It's like, okay. Then I'll you better get over there, man. You can see. Yeah. It's like... Oh, the, the Dusk Elf is up and moving. I'm sorry. The Dusk Elf is up and moving. Okay. I'm back to full health with two. You just see him get pelted with uh, Kyle, you're up. Death save. <laughs> Don't roll a negative. Eight. Fail. Fail. <laughs> Failure! <laughs> Joel, you're up. Okay. Yeah. No. Just yeah, you went. Oh, you, you went. I got it. Forgot you left. Uh, so touch two, isn't it? That's all you have left. Cure wounds. Can I get close enough to Kyle? What's the range? Touch. I got twenty. Uh, how many square? You would have to double move. And then, I can, then I'll have to use it next time. Don't you have get, have get inside that hut and, <laughs> and put that sword in her heart, please. That would really help me out a lot. There's only three people and one person's already. Not I'm, I'm telling you, she's looking rough, and if you give her the sun sword, she's really gonna get. She does look very badly damaged. Yeah. All right. What kind of weapon is the sun sword? A lightsaber. <laughs> long sword. Dang, I can't use long sword. I wasn't. I wouldn't give it to you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> no one ever borrowed Luke's sword. Man. Yeah, that's not even an. Yeah, option. people stole it. Just, uh, just so you know. Uh, All right, yeah, I'll run up into the hut and. Uh, attack. You're going up the hut. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're able to. Yeah, you're able to get in the hut easily. Let me give you a quick description on the interior of the hut because it is, as you can imagine, creepy. Uh, so it's be like it's a, full of like tentacles. Oh, wait, no, not anymore. Maybe it is. No, it is. It's not a concentration spell. No, it isn't? Mine isn't. Though the tentacles are still going? It's an action. It's not a concentration. What? It's a, it goes for... No, it is concentration. Up to one minute. Hunger of Hadar? It is a concentration. Up to oh, one minute. Down. Yeah, it is it's down. down. I have Chris Angel. Like... Yeah, to be six full damage. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's like, I have transcended my humanity. Oh, it's like... I mean, you have to maintain yeah, the cinema, cinema, uh, Cinematically, it's like a really good show. But you go, oh, no, I'm not conscious. Really so, not not 
so it's no longer there. The hut is 15 feet on a side and packed with old furniture, including a wooden cot, a wicker cabinet, a slender wardrobe, a wooden table, a stool, a barrel top wooden chest reinforced with brass bands, and an iron tub stained with blood. In the middle of the room is a ghastly wooden crib with a small angelic child sitting in it. All the um, furnishings except the crib are bolted to the floor. Beneath the crib, green light seeps up through the cracks between the rotten floorboards. So, old room, you know, old wooden furniture, beautiful wooden crib, angelic baby, almost, you know, dressed in all white with a um, I would say that with an incredibly that powerful arcane magic source down. beneath the crypt. Magic, magic it, permeates know, the room as, as the hag is looking away from you, out the window, tackling at the dead warlock. I feel like oh, no. oh. Use another device. Not like, enough all right. Yo, bitch! I missed. And I have advantage on her because I used one of my channels. Early on. Okay. Don't you still have the dust belt? I think it's so no, he's that one. That's why I already used it. Twenty. Twenty is a hit. And she's she's also not a dead or unfeed, right? She is not an undead or a fiend. She is a humanoid. I still got her. That's the Lord. That's the Lord. You would be pulling it. Twelve radiant. What's that like? Light breaking? You see no light. What's that? Do you add All something? Right. Oh, yeah, plus six. The mighty boots? Eighteen. Oh, no, you're not it she it looks on the verge of so death, and she turns to you. And I get another attack. You shall not have my child! Strahd will grow and rule this land one day, she says. What? Strahd? Have you ever given someone your baby's arm? name is Strahd? <laughs> and I'll use my second attack on her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nobody's already doing this, you guys, right? That sounds like a pathfinder. She raises her hand to block your blow. 20. You hit her. Four. Eight. Eight. Radiant. Eight. Eight points of damage? Yes. She dies. And as she, I mean, basically, you strike through her, she explodes, and, and just dust and green magical sparkles. Go exploding out into the thing. Oh, right. You see this go cascading out of the window. You're, a <laughs> you're, a you're, you're in the darkness. You see like like sparkly green stuff and dirt come flying out the window. The hut shudders. The crib vanishes. Uh -oh. The glowing orb in the middle seems to start to. There's like something under the floorboards, kind of rotating. As you know, minus ten. Uh, oh. Is there anything that looks of value well, no. in here before it potentially explodes? What's that? <laughs> is there anything of value in here? I feel like it's gonna explode and I need to take whatever I can in here. Uh, <laughs> no, definitely not a baby. <laughs> the baby <laughs> just He said it disappeared. I want everything! <laughs> yeah, the, the baby um, okay. and the crib have vanished when she is defeated. <laughs> Which is probably I they're, they're battling uh, the hut and, ba and Baba La Saga <laughs> still. And there's a baby in there? there Inside the... Angelic baby. And I think I might have killed it. Which may or may not be a good thing. When you go to stay nice, nine, that's 17, 17. A big chunk of the door is actually there is a wooden chest. I have a bullseye Can I take that? What's that? Can I take that? Yeah, it's a large wooden chest. Anything else? It's probably the only thing uh, I can take on. Give me a perception uh, check. Maybe next time you guys have to go. Why don't you see what else is in this chest? That's what I'm doing. That's too much. Six. Six. <laughs> Not very perceptive. I'm gonna chest. I see a bed. Chest. Tub with blood stains. A uh, barrel with bands. I'll take the chest and run. You grab the chest and start running for the door. Yeah. 
Josh is up. He is not here. The hut attacks. The hut is still going. Hut, the hut is still attacking. I'm not sure the hut has a target though because I don't. You're dead, and I'm not sure it can pursue you. Oh yeah, you're here. Where are you? I don't know. So that's the dusk elf is over there. Oh, the darkness is gone now too. Right? Yeah, the darkness is gone. There's also the person that just went inside. Oh yeah, I'm like inside. Or I'm just outside. It's like your thingy. Oh yeah. So where's the other side of the wall? They're, they're where the they are. We, the dragon isn't here not yet. <laughs> Oh, this is just like, just like. Is there a fire? There's no fire. There's a cloud of poisonous gas that's about yeah, dissipating. That's about 15 feet. There's darkness dissipating. Is there any the hag, The tentacles? No, the tentacles have dissipated. He's unconscious. There's a hut. Are there? Where are the huts? Underneath it. Roots. Giant roots. It lifted a giant rock out of the earth and crushed. The warlock. Where's the opening? The front door is where the lid thing is, yeah. The key? The, the little... And you're inside? Yes, he's inside. And it's going to explode? I don't know. It's, there's okay. a glowing yeah, thing yeah, in the middle. Get in right. there. I'm going to sh- Get in there. Um, this appears well, you, 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 you're not, it's not your turn, right? Okay, cool. This, that's where you are. That's, that's fine. I'll take it for now. The HUD is going to lift a large rock and throw it at you. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I'll stay in. Uh, that is a 28 versus armor class. Holy crap. Yeah. 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 Gonna hit everybody. Take 21 points of rock damage. Rock damage. Can I use a marker? <laughs> oh god, that was so fun to have one of those in this game. Anyway, badass. Use your pull to like. Oh, again? That was the hut. That was 20? Gerbo, you're up. You're 21. 21. <laughs> the end of my turn, I saved against slow. Like Gerbo, you're seems up. seems to be moving faster but now. Okay, so... There's really not much one, two, three... I see your thing. Medicine. Okay. 20. Nice! You're at one hit point. Oh, okay. You're stable. No, one. Conscious. I rolled a 20 on your medicine. That 20. Okay, okay so... L3. Five, six, seven. Am I still considered hidden? No, you'll have to check again. Through the fireplace. Oh, you're trying to get combat advantage or uh, no, I'm just sneak attack. If I should just get inside and do it, it. but I use my action to stabilize them. Correct. <laughs> do you have any more movement? Or are you done? I can bonus action go inside and like receive shots. Okay. Yeah, do that. Okay. Bonus action. So turbo, you're going through the window. Just car wheeling through the window. Give me an acrobatic check. Yeah. This room into the next room. Uh, As you're lifting the chest, you hear. I do athletics. <laughs> sure. Someone stumble in. <laughs> you, you hear a no crash into the side of the hut. <laughs> you no, no, you're able to get in. You go flying through the window and land inside the hut. There is a. Uh, give me a perception check. Hey, what happened in there? Not much. Uh, six plus eight. So, 14. There is um, what you think to be one of the uh, vineyard's protective orbs buried under the floorboards of the hut. I would guess that without without even rolling. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm a dumb lord. Right. Uh, <laughs> Yo, dumb lord! Break open the glowing floor! <laughs> Freeze! Margo, it's your turn. I don't know where my cleric stuff is, so I forgot how to do my spell attack. Um, good thing we don't need him. Sacred flame. Yeah, it's a new sacred flame. Sacred flame. Yeah. Sacred flame. yeah. Dexterity and the fails. And you fall down. Dexterity. If you don't. I rolled a two, so the hut has failed. Okay, cool. So it's two. D Eight, two, eight, two, eight, three, so five. Like, do I add anything? Some sort of no. in here that's okay, so five. That's my first five. attack. The fireplace um, is closing off. So the entrance is, is it, Does it appear to be safe in this hut? Uh, I believe so. I'm going to attack it from the inside. <laughs> we do not <laughs> get the one shit. Um, <laughs> and it's radiant <laughs> damage. Radiant damage. <laughs> um, I, I go. I mean, what can I see? Like, do I see, like, if I shoot it with an arrow, would it do anything? Like, I don't know. Yeah, no, the hut, the hut has, the 
has been taking damage. He's hit it with the sword. Bashing the hut seems to be an option. Okay. With, or just shining light, radiant light on it. Where you are? Um, like he just did. <laughs> okay, so I guess I will um, shoot it with a fucking arrow. Alright. Maybe I'll do Halo. Yeah, that's why everybody above me has multi attack. Do they all have every six level? Everybody has multi attack. I, I had I had multi attack. Well, no, no, I mean, but you can do the. I have an extra. Yeah. Yeah. I do not. <laughs> because I'm multi cast. Oh, you yeah. Okay. Oh, because I multi cast. You're gonna well, run and jump well, in the hut. Yeah. What'd you get? Do it. Uh, <laughs> cool he doesn't need to be healed. He'll be fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at one hit point. Got it. Nice. Oh, do you so want me to heal you? Can you do that? <laughs> oh, yeah, do your clerk shit. <laughs> so I like how you did though. that. <laughs> it was a natural 20, but I got 19. I can't get to you, though. You have shit Healing word. That kind of sucks. All right. Um, yes. Can I do my full movement and shoot well, at the guy? With my, yes. Yes. I can do my movement. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna Healing get, word is 60. Off. I know, but it's only a 1d4. If I can touch you, it's a 1d8. I wasn't the one in the trap this time. Well, so if, you get to, you if you get to zero, I have a, <laughs> well, I have a cantrip a, that oh, I can do. Shit. Okay. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to go <laughs> to him. Okay. And... I'm like right here. Wait, if I'm right next to him, can I heal him? Are you adjacent? Yeah, if you're adjacent, adjacent. you can. Is she adjacent? I didn't I see think, the squares. I, think, sure. I don't see how I think she, she is. Used to you weren't that close. Right. Yeah, you're close enough. You also hold the point of. Like, oh, because I was one away. Okay. okay. I was one away. Got it. Do you have to Sorry. The okay. Oh, oh, um, I'm sh <laughs> you're shooting the hut. Shoot Absolutely. The hut. With. Oh, is the dusk elf doing anything? He, 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 he sulked off, you know, uh, that way. He's still outside. He hasn't done anything aggressive yet. He may be like licking his wounds and healing himself. I mean, he was locked in a cage. I mean, if I shoot Hill of Thorns at the thing, bad. is the hut protecting the people inside? Correct. There is a window. Uh, Wait, and we just might not be able to get outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining arrows outside. We can't go out. Okay, I'm going to do uh, oh, the Hill of right. Thorns. Got it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I shamble along. Eighteen plus. Three. That's a hit. I wanna, okay. I wanna and then it's a. You have to make a dexterity saving throw. It's a door. I got a. <laughs> I got a. I rolled a 19, I got a 17. That's shit. I thought you blocked the one in front of them. I thought you blocked the one in front of them. Yeah, yeah. No, the hut's up, man. The hut seems a little bit more active than it was a minute ago. It's no longer slowed. What do you know? For now. I just got here. That's what I know. Yeah. It's blocked. Um, How far away from the hut are they? Does being unconscious count as a short rest? <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> Good question, though. Good um, question. About 30, 35 feet. Got it. 30, 40. Okay, where the hell is it? I mean, can I move the thing away into the fireball? Not in the same place. Yeah, so I'm just going to slow. It's under spell casting. Can you make the arcane point also a crossbow? It was a ranger spell. Stop. 14. All right. I don't have an arcane point. Oh, that's why you're just using fireball. Because I'm not held. Uh, 8 plus my proficiency bonus plus my money. So eight plus three, three plus three. Eight plus six. 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 Eight plus
Or, Green um, um, <laughs> or break open the glowing oh, door. I, yeah, you I don't get to add. <laughs> what's that? that? I, no, you okay. don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a warlock. You do manage to. Does she drop? She doesn't drop anything oh, else. There's no obvious yeah, trinkets or gold or anything that falls from her. Uh, Kyle, you're up. I'm sorry. You're conscious at one hit. Yeah, point. I'm gonna drink that healing potion I bought. Okay. Here, so that's Maybe. your whole movement. I'm okay with that. Geo ten. First, How much do I get for that? Firstly, do I die? Uh, I think what healing potion we've decided is a D8 plus one. Fire that's just oh, erupted, this is uh, actually in the book. Fire. Yeah, yeah, oh, we, we looked for it last time we couldn't find it. There's a section that actually called healing potion. It's like immediately snapping back to position. To start your turn, you're going to take nine fire damage. Cool. Can I, I would like to talk to the tree? Is that a yeah, thing? Yep, yep. You attempt to communicate with the hut. The hut. Yeah. Um, don't call this me is true. mental telepathy you're using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you don't sense mind. sentience. Nothing, Nothing there. I'm an eight. I'm, I'm an eight. Okay. Um, how about you are sensing very powerful arcane magic coming from within inside the hut. Well, I'll just I'll go ahead and make a running jump into the hut. All right. Athletics or acrobatics to get it through the back door. The water. <laughs> 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 All right, so you, you dive into the side of the hut. Oh, short rest. You're holding onto the window, or you can be on the ground, whichever you would prefer. I'll, I'll hang on to that window. All right, so you're clutching onto the windowsill, trying to pull yourself in. Water whip. Uh, that end of turn, you just move. Do you have an action? You're good. Uh, I mean, I'm hanging onto the side. I can't really do it. I'll go with that. Shivan, you're up. Have more paladin inside the hut. Uh, I'll try to break open. Uh, um, it's the glowing floor. The glowing floor. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how are you trying to break it open? Why don't you listen? I want to crack it. Use my. Yeah, is it? How surgical in there? Is it like <laughs> Can you check for fucking chaps? <laughs> <laughs> that's my job. Yeah, no. that's his job. You need to do that. It up it's his job. He said it's his job. So. <laughs> I think I you almost killed. I think I'll be good. But I didn't. <laughs> Only yes. of him. Yeah, I would have been fine. Anyways, almost only counts in horseshoe. Exactly. Can I like? Can I try to take it out with my hands, or is yeah. it buried in there? No, no. You you would have to smash through the floorboards, which is a DC 14 strength check. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You can do it. Uh, that or you could just try to like smash the floor by just doing damage to it. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, so you strike the floor with the sword. Give me the damage. Why can't you just? You're at four. You should be proficient in strength. I get plus four. Do I still have to roll a d20? Yes. No, you don't need to hit. You just need to do damage. Uh, seven. Seven damage. Seven. So the floor is badly damaged. Inside, you can clearly see a small gem emitting a huge amount of magic. Mm-hmm. Seems to be animating the entire hut. You want to grab it or you want me to grab it? I want to grab I'm it. I'm little, so I can probably <laughs> just... Pull me into the hut. <laughs> um, I did, I did, I did pull me into the hut. I'll pull him into the hut. I've got a small body with small little thieving hands. I could probably fit through a small crack. As, as you smash through, you notice that inside the cavity... Teeth, like not necessarily teeth, maybe thorns, but they look like teeth, are emerging from the sides of the the cavity, and and it looks like they might try to chomp on you if you put your hand in there. Okay, got it. You need to wedge those teeth. Is your sword? Yeah, can I? Josh, you're, uh, Josh is not here. The hut goes. You're outside the hut. He's outside the hut. Okay. Oh, you're outside the hut, too. I'm outside the hut. Uh, I, still, I get an extra attack. Oh, yeah, okay. So you smash the floorboard for seven. Can I try you to see the teeth in there? Can What's I try that? to hit the teeth? You still need to smash the floorboards. You couldn't reach in yet. You just created, like, a gap. Oh, okay. You then still I'll, need to smash more. Yeah, I'll still try to smash. So Smashing more is the, is the order of the day. Yeah. Uh, 11. Okay, 11 uh, points of damage. So you did 18 points of damage. You've, you've cleared away a large hole in the floor. Okay. And you see these chomping teeth, and, and it's pretty, you know, it looks terrifying. Like, you don't necessarily want to put your hand in there. But a skilled thief might see this as a challenge. <laughs> oh, gosh. The hut now is going to try to hit you with a root. Let's see. I either lose my hand or I... <laughs> That's a 28 versus armor class. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, it's a 16 on the die. <laughs> You guys are sixth and seventh level now, man. This is D and D, man. Have magic armor. You're not gonna like this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. Thirty points of damage. 
Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm still kicking. For now. And and the teeth are growing teeth. It's getting like Cthulian inside this this pit. I am neutral. Uh, you're up, Gerbo. Okay. Gerbo. 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 All right, give me a roll. All right. Dusk Elf. It's a it's a DC twenty desk desk dexterity saving throw. Oh Good thing I have advantage and plus four. All right. Oh roll off the map. <laughs> I roll the sixteen. Fifteen. But sixteen. All right. So you reach and grab the gem. You're now holding a very powerful eldritch device. The teeth attempt to chomp you and miss, and the hut settles back down to the earth inert. Yes! <laughs> da, 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 da. Yes. Everyone takes pictures. <laughs> <laughs> we all take selfies. No, this is just like. Da, 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 da. You found Elder Crystal. Right. And suddenly, standing directly next to you, seeming out of nowhere, there's a dusk elf. And he says, That is exactly what we needed. That will keep us warm as we travel to the Amber Temple. And we need to go now. Well, you now, just now, 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 or like now. Things are worse than I thought they were. Yeah. Yeah. We need to Strahd's, some of our guys Strahd's need to power has grown. The Silver Dragon Horde, or uh, the Legion of the Silver Dragon, is all but decimated. The troops that I was hoping to raise there are not available for us. In fact, it's kind of a weird thing around here, don't you think? What is? Yeah. Time. It's kind of weird. Like there's maybe Strahd right here in the middle of this thing. Oh. We saw that battle that yeah. happened like forever ago, but uh, it's not happening now. Like, what's going battle on? that happened. So it's like the uh, dragon uh, Baba La Saga dragon. was the cursed nanny of Straw. No, yeah. She, she envisioned that she was still raising him to be a great general. She, so that, that hey, can I, I'm going to join them. Yeah. Totally I'm peeking over the window. Way Correct. Way she way. she <laughs> created an illusionary <laughs> magic to spell a baby and a child. To, she, he's, he's talking to you out there. <laughs> What's that show where there was the guy with the guy on the other side of the fence? Uh, Home and Brew. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> No, I just realized something. But but the travel to the Amber Temple is through the dreaded snowy, snow-covered pass. It's freezing up there, and staying warm is going to be a real challenge. Do you think it would be a good idea to take a rest inside this hut? No, this is a foul, cursed area. <laughs> oh, there's also, he's also opening the cages and releasing the ravens. Okay, who are swarming. That's what I was going to ask, because they were under the trying to break open the chest. And, uh, What's that? They're trying to break open the chest. You're gonna smash the chest. Quick question. Let the thief open it. All right. Open it. Quick question. Smash the chest. No. no. I'll let go. Go, ahead. go ahead. To the dusk elf, uh, not today. Correct. Do your cloaks do anything? Awesome. No, they just. They actually you just missed it. <laughs> <laughs> when I healed them, it gave us advantage for Five. one thing that we did. The first dragon boy in on the moon. The cloak takes yeah. off. His, his ring. I healed them, and his ring glowed, and then our cloaks glowed. So we got advantage for something we did. For an attack. Okay, so, so do they have anything uh, useful like when you're not around? Zero G vampire. I would have to practice so much. You just bow. don't like. <laughs> What's that? Do, you, do they do things useful when you're even if you're not around? Go so fast. These are incredible. Dust elf cloaks. You don't know about them. Cost one anymore. They're the greatest cloaks ever devised. How perfect. We agree. Yeah, of course you do. They're fantastic. But they will not keep us warm. Can you tell us about the? We need to stay warm through the past. The Amber Temple is like a freezer. 60 total. Okay. Yeah. Um, I checked the chest for traps. Yeah. As usual, when you said right. Sure. Stop doing 60. it. 16. There is a glyph of warding on the chest. Can I use my arcana to try and spell it? Absolutely. What does that do? I've been doing it wrong. Good morning. Okay, so. 18 on the die. 18 on the die. Plus there four. To be no change here. Intelligence? We used in Arcana or you arcana. Use intelligence? I'm sorry. Arcana. So 22. 22. Back to where you started. Uh, <laughs> no change. <laughs> so you have disabled the glyph of warding. Bitch. Okay, is it? I, try, I attempt to open the chest. It's a lock. It is not locked. I open the chest. Four crawling claws spring from the chest and attack you. They look like this. What the f? Uh, plus three to hit. I got an eight, oh, an eight, miss. a seven, miss. and a nine. 
<laughs> the claws are just swarming, though. There are four of them. Uh, While this is happening, can I, like, perceive anything else in the room? Um, the sun is by claws the whole the floor. Um, there are, uh... With my passive 26 percent A wicker cabinet, a slender wardrobe, a wooden table, a stool, a barrel top chest. Okay. Nothing and he's opening the chest right now. He's, he's opening the chest. Okay, I'm gonna go sit on the stool if it's far away from the class. It, it looks like a, a like a, a, a nursery room stool, like where you would sit while I'm gonna sit up rocking a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're sitting. The claws are approaching. They're swarming no, I'm, on the floor. I'm far away from no, you're right next to me. Also, I put my feet up. <laughs> okay. Uh, and eat any new okay, so claws. I'm going to use my monk, my monk powers. Okay. To you guys gotta have some faith. These claws. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Flurry of blows against the claws. Uh, is, is yeah. Oh, yeah. So I see it. You, are you getting some pog to go with those two? Yeah, you need some pog. <laughs> so. Oh, right by you. That actually sounds really good. Cool. You idiots. The pog. Um, uh, yeah. Can I get some help? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Would I be able to hit them with my sword? sword? Absolutely. <laughs> they, they look like this. <laughs> okay, so sword sword. Manners are more important. 17. Hit. When you look around, you see those. Bitch, this is about seven. Prince Jen. Doesn't he have an advantage if he told them they're very blows. All right. That's a good point. We wouldn't have advantage. Where are you? Oh, okay. uh, 14. <laughs> Hit. Then swing a wine, you took your life. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Eight. Dead. Is there like any Ten. Like, Miss. On it? It's just a <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's crawled into the crevice that the paladin is cracking yeah, the floor so and it didn't get <laughs> the, the, the teeth oh, are not biting teeny. anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, that, uh, that would have been a horrific hit. Carry a claw getting eaten by the, 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 the tree. Um, yeah, I'm good. Covered in sin. Okay, inside the chest, the other the other hands are crawled into the corners. They're watching you as much as hands can watch you. They're no longer attacking. Inside the chest, there's 1,300 gold pieces. I want to leave. It's mine. Five gems worth 500 each. Again, mine. A vial containing an oil of sharpness. Okay, you can oil of sharpness. Oil of sharpness. Are we writing this down? Are writing this down? Essentially, oh, you yeah, post it on a weapon a and it increases the 1300 gold. Hold on. Yeah. Oil uh, of sharpness. Sharpness. Okay. <laughs> Two spell scrolls. 100. Oh, 1300 gold. Five gems. Add 500 each. You get thrown back each. into the fire magic. Yeah. 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 Damn. You're welcome. Uh-huh. Two spell scrolls. Two spell. Mass cure wounds. And revivify. Mass. Or revivify. Wait, what? Revivify. And both of those are cleric spells. I spell, I haven't spelled that wrong. <laughs> no one's ever spelled revivify correctly in the history of mankind. It's like a spelling bee word. Um, ten plus one sling bullets. Sling ten plus ten. Oh, plus one. Okay, got gotcha. it. Sling bullets. Pipes of haunting. Pipes of haunting. And a stone of good luck. Of haunting. Okay. I still want to stone. There's the DMG if anyone wants to look up any of those Good items. Good luck. <laughs> okay. So, what, the 10 plus 1 sling bullets, what are those? It's regular sling stones, except the stones themselves do give you plus 1 to attack and damage. So like plus like 1 arrows, but they're stones. Ooh. But they're stones. You don't shoot stones. You shoot arrows. But I could just hold it in my hand and do it like a <laughs> <laughs> you could, you could. It would, I would probably make things worse, but you know, I recommend it. You could try it. Even if I have my eye patch on, I could die. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could make it worse. Underneath the eye patch, maybe you get like, like yeah. I get but no, plus one for, deception and plus one. Basically, basically yeah. there's a there's a whole crap load of magic like for like any suboptimal. Uh, like the bard is stoked like, right here with the pipes of haunting. The halflings, any halflings in the party with the Stone of Good Luck? I think the Stone of Good Luck gives you advantage once a day. I am a face gnome. I'm considered a gnome. Are you going to get a sling? Where are types of haunting? Sounds like Kyle. Okay, and the, and the Dusk Elf is serious, man. Things are much worse than I thought. We have to go immediately to the Amber Temple. You guys keep saying that, but... 
Seriously, it's like a week every time we see you. So I was trapped here. <laughs> How long have you been trapped? Where here? Where are your friends? I I, I went um, to the you, temple of the silver dragon to raise the paladins, who I assumed were preparing yeah, for the great battle. Guys. I'm How long ago did you do that? What's that? How long ago did you do that? As soon as I left you, and I was cutting through the swamp on the shortcut, right? Their outposts were not manned, none of the sentries were here, and then I was captured by Baba Lasaga, who, when I was last here, was not nearly this powerful, nor did she have this enchanted hut. That's why I'm saying. But this gem, this gem, this gem may be our greatest hope. What is it? It will help us stay warm as we travel through the past. Do I feel warm holding this gem? You do. Nice. Don't. What about what about the other gems? Can I see the? There are uh, other gems. There's there are three, aren't there? Where are they? We should collect them. Yeah, we definitely. But they're needed. See? see, now you're talking my language. On our we way got, to the temple. We got to handle <laughs> some. <laughs> there, don't we already have one? No, this is our first one. Our no, you went, you went to the, the other hags thinking they had one, but they did not. Yeah. They have a hag's eye. <laughs> uh, does the hag's eye react to anything in the hut? No. Do like hold it in the window? <laughs> you want to throw it back in the hole, see if it raises the hut? <laughs> throw it in the hut. <laughs> up by the eat. No, the, the hag's eye does not seem to be affected by the hut. The, those druids near the winery have Where another are the one, don't they? You don't really know. <clears throat> they are not on your map. We want to collect some more stones. You down for that? Well, I think we can. I, where do you think they are? The druids have them over by the winery up on their hill. Okay. You know about them? Yeah. Those right. got stolen from the winery. We want, we want to f them up. They were just thinking. Hey. I don't know. Maybe we're going. No, that is on the way. That is on the way. The third one, we don't know where. I thought it was in Y. I thought it was in Yester Hill. Yeah, that's why. You can do so much. I'm gonna hold on to Yeah. Yeah, the hill with the okay, so oil of sharpness. This clear gelatinous oil sparkle, sparkles with shiny ultra.